Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kiki and welcome to KT's Journey. Before we get into this video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down below and make sure you hit that notification bell down there so that you know when I upload new videos. So first, let me start out by telling y'all, sorry, 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 I've not been gone for a minute, but there's an explanation why. A couple of them, I've had a lot going on, so let's get started. Uh, for one, when I first started, doing YouTube I was not working at the time due to COVID I was off work so it was really easy for me to film videos and take care of baby and husband and all those things well then I had to go back to work <laughs> and I kind of had to find the balance and I didn't want to half do it I didn't want to post a video and be inconsistent until I got a handle on things and now I feel like baby is back on her sleeping schedule and her day her daily day her day-to-day -day routine and I am too so now I feel like I can dedicate the time when she goes to bed and things like that to shooting videos and shooting some videos with her as well um another thing which is a big announcement for me to make y'all really really big and I'm so excited to tell y'all that I am expecting baby number two with my husband. Yes, baby number two. So yeah, you know, we have a little corona baby, a little COVID baby, but it's okay. Um, we're so excited. We're so, so, so excited. Um, This baby was planned. And part of the reason that I was not able to film is because I have just entered into my second trimester. I'm 13 weeks. And thank God, because I am finally starting to feel like myself all over again. Um, and if you've been pregnant before, you know that first trimester will do it to you. <laughs> uh, it will get you. It will really get you and get you down. Um, I am one of those people that during my first trimester, I am very, very sick. Um, working is a task. It's a, it's a real challenge, um, to say the least, because... I have really bad nausea and I do throw up a lot during my first trimester, more than the average person that's pregnant, actually. Um, my last pregnancy with my daughter, that's now two, um, I was very, very sick. And in the beginning, I didn't say anything to my doctor. Um, and so when I went for a checkup, I had lost some weight because I had to come back in two weeks. Um, after seeing her the first time I had to come back in two weeks and I, uh, in those two weeks I had lost a lot of weight and she and I kind of talked about why and it was because I had been throwing up for the most part six times before 11 a.m. and that was regardless of if I ate or I didn't um, so we started trying different medications we tried vitamin B12 that didn't work we tried um, I can't remember Dramamine I think that didn't work and then we tried this medicine called diclegis um which which helped a lot but it didn't fix the problem because even in my third trimester i was still going through some of those same things but it did help to keep it from being as bad this time go around this go around mama was not with it okay um i was like listen we going through the same thing again and she was like, okay, I'll write your prescription. And so she did. And then when I went for my second appointment the next month, I talked to the, I had an appointment with the nurse practitioner and she and I talked about it. And she was like, well, you can take Pepsi because I was still throwing up a lot at night sometimes. And so um, we started doing, I started using Pepsi that night when I eat and that has helped tremendously. So um, like I said, my first trimester, I was really tired um really really tired and sleepy all the time and i was um dealing with nausea and vomiting for the most part that was like my first trimester in a nutshell um and another thing y'all i know you might be like this little tmi but it's okay because we here we here we right here and i know a lot of y'all we women and have been pregnant, trying to get pregnant, want to be pregnant one day, or I know somebody who's been pregnant, so you understand. Um, my boobs, y'all. 
at first hurt so bad so so bad and then when they stopped hurting they were so much bigger i had to go buy new bras because i went up a whole cup size already and with baby girl that didn't happen until like i was into my second trimester really good before i had to buy new ones um but this time it happened really quickly that was like one of the first things that happened um the way that i knew that i was pregnant was i was at work one day and i started having hot flashes like i was really really hot and i couldn't cool off and um another thing that was going on was like i said the, my boobs and things were really sore and so i was like you know what the last time I felt like this, I was pregnant. And I came home from work. Well, I got on work. I went and got some pregnancy tests from the store. And I came home and I took one. <laughs> and I brought it, brought it in to my husband. And I was like, look. And he was like, go take another one. So I took another one. And it was positive. And then I took another one. And he is, it's so funny y'all, because he always need like three tests to be like, I'm for real. Cause he think I be playing. I don't know why he always think I'm joking when I say I'm pregnant. Um, but overall, we're really, really happy. And it's been really good. Baby girl does know that a new baby is coming. And it's the cutest little thing because she'll be, um, at night she'll kiss the night she'll kiss the baby so she'll kiss my stomach and she'll say night night baby and um sometimes she'll rub me on the stomach or uh if i ask her where's the baby she'll point to my stomach and she'll say the baby's in there and so that makes me feel really, really good because she's so excited about it um and it's something that we can be excited about as a family and as a whole another thing is that i bought her this little book i'll have to show it to y'all in the next video I don't want to go in her room and get it because she's sleeping right now and I don't want to disturb her um but it's about becoming a big sister and in the book there are no words it's just pictures and you can kind of put your own words with the pictures and she really liked this book and she'll say oh the little girl the, the big sister is crying oh the big sister is playing with her baby you know with the baby and so she kind of gets it from that and she thinks it's so cool and it's so cute um and she loves that book and i'm gonna like i said earlier y'all i promise y'all i'm gonna do a lot better at uploading and i'm gonna try to um do at least a pregnancy update every two weeks yeah every two weeks i'm gonna try to do a pregnancy update just because i feel like week to week it's kind of the same thing um so every two weeks i will try to do a video update um on my pregnancy but one last thing before i go one thing I think is really, really cool, y'all, is that with my daughter, I didn't feel her moving until I was probably about 17-ish weeks before I, like, felt the flutters or probably knew what the flutters were. And so, this time, I actually do feel my baby um, on the inside. It's not, the, the movements are not strong enough to feel on the outside just yet but i can feel it some on the inside and i did ask the nurse practitioner is that what that is and she she was like yes that's what that is you and she told me that it's normal and it's common for second time moms to feel things a lot faster than first time moms because you kind of know what you're looking for and you know your body and another really really cute thing that i thought was awesome and amazing was when i went to my last doctor's appointment it wasn't an appointment where i was supposed to see the baby through an ultrasound because you know you only get ultrasounds at like your first appointment your 20 week appointment and then there's the one other one i think um which is different for me because when i was pregnant with dallas uh the zika zika virus was going around and we had just come back from our honeymoon which we took out of the state out of the country and um i got bit by mosquitoes so i had to get multiple ultrasounds and get some blood work done to make sure that i didn't contact contract zika and so i got to see baby girl a lot more and so this time it's like oh yeah i don't get to see the baby until 
this appointment or whatever, which is cool. Um, but um, this last appointment that I did have, we were, she was trying to listen for the heartbeat on the handheld Doppler, but she couldn't hear it. And so she went and got the fetal Doppler. I mean, the fetal handheld fetal mon monitor. And she put the monitor on my stomach and I got to see the baby. And he, it, I say he, but I don't know what it is. He, she, it. So sometimes I call him a he and sometimes I call it a she. It just depends. Um, or I'll say baby bean. But um, the hands were just moving like this. So I'm just like, oh, look at my baby. Um, before I leave, I'm going to um, show y'all my belly. So we can do a 13-week belly update. And just show y'all what my belly is looking like at 13 weeks which this is what we got so far ow look at baby all right y'all that's it for me for tonight that's uh that's the end of my update for right now i can't wait to film the next video with y'all and the next one i'll have baby girl in it i promise um because i know y'all probably miss her and she missed being in front of the camera too so with that being said the next one will be with her and i'll upload a video of her inside well not a video but a picture of her inside this video as well since she couldn't be here with me tonight because she's going to bed so kisses